Um, yeah, I had to go to the bathroom. But anyways, uh, I don't know if I mentioned already, but it seems as if, well, it actually is the case that um, two of our team activities from Human Resource Management got graded. We got 30 out of 30 on both of them. So now my grade in that class is 92%. It only went up by 1%, but still. Yeah, yeah, only 1%, come on. After getting 60 more points, but anyways. Um, oh, I guess I, I just realized something. Like, your grade... So basically, like, take for example one of my homework assignments. It's worth about 1% of my grade, but really my grade will only go up by about half of a percentage every time I complete one, right? Because, because like both, wait, actually I don't know, I don't, never mind. Anyways, it won't go there. Um, so I think, yeah, I think all of our human resource management stuff is graded, except for the self and peer review that I turned in way early, so of course it doesn't grade me up. So. Yeah. So yeah, all I have left is course reflection and then final exam for that class. So anyways, right now I have to finish the corporate finance exam. Technically, I could wait till Friday to finish it. <laughs> um, that would feel really weird to have like the exam running the entire time. But I'm gonna just hopefully I can finish it within the next couple of hours. Like. Right. Nice job. Like my estimation was, well, if the reading and then the conceptual questions takes the same amount of time as chapter 10, chapter 11 conceptual questions will take one and a half hours total. Um, which means I've already done half an hour, maybe even almost 40 minutes because it's at 2.09 instead of two. So actually that one would take about 50 minutes to finish that but i'm hoping it takes less than that maybe let's be optimistic i'm gonna say it takes 30 minutes man if like the best it can possibly be is 30 minutes and then for calculations for math questions for math questions let's see here well there's 11 math questions and if only, if I took one minute on every question, it would take 11 minutes, you idiot. Okay, if I took 10 minutes on each question, it would take almost two hours. There's no way I'm gonna spend 10 whole minutes on every question, right? So it's gotta take less than two hours, maybe one hour, maybe one and a half. Two is like the worst possible. Let's say that the, our optimistic estimate is one hour for math questions. So the most optimistic thing is that it will only take me another one and a half hours to finish the exam. That's the most optimistic thing. So the worst possible case is probably it'll take three more hours. But um, then after that, what do we gotta do? We either gotta start studying. Okay, so we either have to do our course reflection, we or we start studying for our final exams. Those are the only two other options I have. And for the final exams, I could either start studying financial statement analysis, or I could start studying human resource management. And I think if I was to, I think I would choose human resource management because for financial statement analysis, I'm kind of waiting till we have our class on Wednesday to start studying because, oh, I don't know, maybe, Maybe I should do a bit of studying. It, it might be a good idea to do some studying. Um, because, like, if, if I study the previous test question, like, like that would be the easiest thing to do, right? To, to study the test questions from the previous exam. So, like, I probably should do some studying because I don't want to save it all for Wednesday night and Thursday morning. That would kind of suck because, um, I don't know. I mean, usually I go to my mom's on Wednesdays, and 
often because of that I don't do much or any homework but I probably am going to um, I should I need to do it because I need to study for the exam so I would probably have to do it I would put on <laughs> But the point I was trying to make was that I can do some studying. I don't have to save it all for Wednesday. Because I can study the stuff I know for sure. Well, first of all, he said that he literally explicitly mentioned this one problem that he talked to, with us about in class um, that would be on the test. So there's that. <laughs> and he said some basic ratios on the stupid. His email was. Yeah, his email was not very good, but it said some basic ratios. It said earnings management and inventory management. What the actual heck is that supposed to be? Like, what the heck is that? I don't even know what he means by those two things. But to the best of my ability, I guess I can look at that and see if I can glean anything from it. But the list of stuff that he put in the email, which, um, but yeah, studying the previous tests would be a good idea. And. I know, and also, I can study the previous test, and he literally went over every question on that previous test. I think, right? Did he go over every question? I don't remember. Um, he went over most of them, at least, and uh, so that would be good. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's not very many quizzes to study. I think there's literally only one quiz. Well, actually, I guess there's only quizzes from before the first exam, but I don't think I want to study those. I just want to study the exam itself. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should study the quizzes. Gosh damn it. Okay, fuck. Study the quizzes, study the exam, and study... Um, I also got to read through the PowerPoints, because he, he posted... And also there's a work document, I think, that had information supplementary to the textbook so I would read that stuff so that I got plenty of work to do before class Wednesday but which in which case maybe instead of studying human resource management I really should just be disciplined and study financial statement analysis because we're having first part of the exam on Thursday so I obviously need to be prepared for that uh, so <sighs> yeah. Um, wait, did I literally, did I completely forget to mention? Like, I was going to mention that Chris, uh, I talked to Chris, and he's going to come over tomorrow instead of Wednesday, because, because, like, it's going to, I'm going to learn crucial information that I need to study for the test on Wednesday, and the only, and then there is no time in between then and when I were taking the test, other than Wednesday and Thursday morning, which is when Chris was planning to come over originally, so that would have been terrible. So, I, yeah. Anyways, yeah. I, tomorrow I can get homework done. I can get homework done tomorrow too, because Chris is not coming till later or midday. So, uh, and then not to mention the stinking lint group projects. Man, I wonder what. He said he's gonna give feedback. Quote unquote feedback. Oh my goodness. And also he posted the Dropbox for those. Um, and they were worth like 36 and 40 something points. Like 30 something and 40 something points. And I'm like, what? Well, I guess the total amount in the syllabus is 100, but I don't know. But maybe that's just for the rough draft. Drop. Uh, uh. It was so fun waking up 10 billion times in the middle of the night. And then I got up at 6.30. 
Like, I went to bed at like 10. I shouldn't have gone to bed that late. But I did. I went to bed at 10. I woke up at 6.30. So that's eight and a half hours. It's since I woke up 10 jillion times. Come on. When can this be over with? Oh, Friday. Oh, okay. Friday. 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 Oh, man. Well, at least it's not Saturday, it's Friday, because originally he was like, he said we were going to have our take home due on Saturday, but it's, he realized that he could, that wasn't going to be possible, or something, but it's going to be over on Friday, Friday's the last day. <laughs> it's possible I could get eight. I could get all eights. Oh, well, I could get all eights. Oh. <laughs> The first week of this eight-week semester was awful because I did homework on Monday and then Tuesday through Friday I did nothing but place in five. That was so terrible. Oh my gosh. And like there were a couple of points during this eight-week semester where I procrastinated to work. So much to do homework. So stressful. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, I um technically the worst grades I got on assignments was like seventy six percent on a, a test and Skipping one side, but it was only five points lost, so it was barely anything. I guess that 76% test was the worst one, and that wasn't really even my fault. I don't consider that to be my fault. I did the same amount of studying that I did for every other test, and I got 76%. What does that say? Does that say anything about me, or does that say something about the test? <laughs> Yeah.